Hi everyone, it's me Barak from Trade and thank you for joining my live trading session where you are about to see me trade live and watch my PNL live. Market's about to open flat but the overall trend is definitely up. Some interesting trades today like Disney which is up 8% and you can also see PayPal which is down 8%. Therefore, we could be looking for a gap and go long and a gap and go short. Let me welcome my trading room members and start the trading session right now. Hi traders, good to see you all. Welcome our traders in our YouTube trading room and of course those of you who are here. Now there's plenty of movers today although the market starts flat, S&P and Nasdaq are flat. Overall trend is definitely up and if you take a look at the daily of the S&P 500 you can see that we're looking at a potential very strong breakout. It is a very interesting breakout formation. Now I do follow some stocks which could be big, big movers today like uh, Disney which is up 8% right now. Starting up I would like to see it coming down first and then moving up should be a gap and go. So I'm going to short Baba under 71.70 under the lows. I'm short. No reason to get panic. I'm going to go long uh, Disney, going long right here. Sorry, I didn't have time to post it over 107.60. That just woke up, huh? Yeah. From his arm? Okay, no, it was kind of silent, didn't really move. Oh, wow, that's a nice move. I'm getting ready for a partial. Now, took my partial in Disney. Took my partial in Disney. That was a quick, quick trade. Yeah. And it's still going. I'm long Microsoft as well. Anything under 101, I'll come out of the rest here on ARM. I'm posting PayPal. Traders have just posted uh, PayPal for short under 57.80 because it did finally move up. And when you have a big gap down, you always want to see them moving first in the direction of closing the gap, which is what happened to PayPal. And then you want to see them fail. So my plan is to short it under 57. Actually, I'm going to change it now. It could be 57.90. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's make it 57.85. Baba still kind of going sideways, not doing much. Small red territory. Watching uh, PayPal closely to see if it fails. Could be 57.90, my new entry. I'm adding very, very small size to Disney here. Added, should have added before. I'm short PayPal, it triggered. The SP is at the highs. We're slowly moving up. Not much, just really nothing. I'm adding to my Baba short. Just added to my Baba short because I think it's going to see a new low soon under 71.60. The market did move up, but uh, not that much. Come on, Baba, you can do it. Keep going. Let's get back under 71. Taking a partial. Oh, I don't know why I did it. I took a partial. The market just came down nicely under the lows with some kind of a momentum. Also, if you take a look at the Nasdaq, you can see that clearly. It came down nicely. I'm about to cover some more Baba. It made a nice downside move and I think it's way too extended to the downside. So if it's going to move over 75, I'm going to cover some more. Covered. Yeah. 
My only trade left without a partial is PayPal. But it is trending lower, it looks nice for continuation. Huge volume, 12 million shares, down more than 9%. I am getting ready for a partial in PayPal. Just trying to get a little bit more here. Just broke down under the lows. Market didn't quite continue moving down. We're kind of holding. Nice reversal in Disney. Come on, PayPal. May take my parcel somewhere around here if it fails to move lower. But I think it's likely to. Oh, pull back. Okay, taking now my partial in paper. Took. Okay, traders, just 20 minutes into the trading session and I do have a great start. Nice trade in PayPal, $1,100 and still going. Disney, $1,300. Baba, just over $2,000. I do have a small loser right now in Disney, just over $500. So overall together, just over $4,000 in 20 minutes. It's a great trading day and it's always about finding the right stocks. In the case of PayPal, it's a classic gap and go. I found a stock that started down more than 8%, waited until it moved up over the highs and failed because that's the definition of a gap and go. You let them move in the direction of closing the gap and you look for the failure point and I did look and I did trade it. Now it's the same for BABA. BABA, a huge gap down, try to move higher. That's not a real trade here, that's just a, a wrong um, print or something and then it failed and came down and I shorted it and once I saw that Baba is approaching the lows with a lot of momentum I added size so the end result as you can see here is uh, just over two thousand dollars in Baba so a fantastic day uh, just over four thousand dollars in 20 minutes thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video please don't forget to hit that like button thank you see you bye bye